Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at how you can manually enter waypoints into the flight plan page of the GPS i 30 inside the Cessna 172 over here at Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, um, for those of you who are not flying the glass cockpit plane, you probably noticed these uh, two little magic boxes that get you where you need to go. Of course, they provide you with the Magenta Line of Justice, and they're absolutely wonderful, wonderful devices. Uh, before we get going, though, uh, one thing I want to do is actually want to slow this plane down a little bit. Uh, we're going, we're ripping along pretty darn fast here, and I want to give myself enough time to be able to go ahead and set everything up that I need to. Go ahead and tweak the mixture. Okay, so the way that you can build your own flight plans is actually super simple. We just go to the FIPPLE page, and you're going to push in the cursor like this, and then you can pick which one of the waypoints you want. So in this particular case, uh, let's go ahead and say uh, my first initial waypoint here. I'll go down to, um, we'll make it easy, uh, we'll go to Block Island. For example, we'll do a Kilo Bravo. We'll do up to India. And we'll go ahead and do Delta for my last letter here. Now, let's say from Block Island, I'd like to go to whoop, ID. You gotta be careful. H. Make sure you're on the correct one. Again, I'm using the little knob to control the uh, little digits. I'm using the big one to change my place. Enter, enter. Now, let's go ahead and shut this cursor off for a second. Go back to the flight plan. Now, do you notice I can't see my flight plan? And the reason why is because wherever you're starting is going to be your initial waypoint. So even though I'm already cruising here, I can't actually use the waypoint I just went ahead and selected unless I either make a direct two, which we'll do in a minute, or create more waypoints. Let's go ahead and create another one. So after going to uh, Block Island, uh, let's go to uh, FRG here. Kilo, uh, Foxtrot. This is a Republic Airport. It's going to be on Long Island Sound, for those of you who are curious. We'll go to Romeo. And we'll do a head golf here. And I'm going to press enter, enter real quick. And now you can see that these two waypoints are now ready to go. And our flight plan is going between this currently selected leg. So if we go back to FIPPLE, you'll notice I don't see my waypoints. As a matter of fact, it's all the way down here. So what we need to do now is tell our GPS we want to go direct to. Now in the real GPS, you press flight plan, you come to the one you want, and you press the direct button. It doesn't work that way in this GPS. It actually works okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the direct to button. I'm going to press on press cursor. I'm going to go down to where it says FIPPLE, where it says a BID. I'm just going to press enter once. And now it's going to let me pick where my flight plan I want to go direct to. In this case, it'll take me to Block Island. I'm going to press enter. All right, I'll activate the cursor. Swing down to where it says activate. And I'm going to press enter. So what this is going to do now is it's going to automatically create a, a little a leg as well as a fake waypoint where I just was. Now, if I wanted to, I could come down here and press the nav button. And now the whole uh, aircraft will go ahead and take a nice gentle turn and take us all the way down to Block Island. Now, what's so cool about this is um, notice it's deleted my FRG waypoint. So you want to be very, very cautious with it. Usually what I'll do is my direct to waypoint first. You can edit the active leg. It's just one of those things you have to watch out for. So I'm going to go ahead and put a Republic right back in there. And now we're good to go. So now let's say um, when we get to Republic, we want to do some kind of approach. I'm going to go ahead and press the proc button. I'm going to come down to the select approach. And today we have a couple different options. The wind's coming mostly out of the west. So let's go ahead and give it a wiggle and see what we have. Uh, we have ILS for 14. It's decent. Oh, RNAV for 3 2. That sounds pretty good to me. Although RNAV for 1 9 is probably going to be a little bit better. Let's see, 2 7 is going to be 5. Yeah, that's actually going to be better. 3 2 is going to be our 1. And now I'm just going to go down here, select the load, press enter. And now if you take a look at our flight plan, it'll actually go ahead and normally it would populate all the information down here. And you can see that that works actually very well. Now, the cool thing is if I want to immediately say, hey, I want to begin this approach procedure, you can actually press the proc button, come down to activate approach, press enter. And now what the aircraft will do is it'll actually create a new uh, point that'll take us directly to that particular spot that we need to. In this case, the first waypoint is at Groton right here, as you can see that it's taking to us. Notice it has deleted our Block Island. Actually, our Block Island is still there. So let me go check that real fast, make sure I didn't miss anything. I've done that many, many times. I have activated the approach, and it's trying to finish up all of our existing waypoints before we get there. Ah, these things are so much fun when they don't work the way they work in the real world. That's okay. We can always come down here, and I'll go ahead to our direct option. Come down here, and now we can just dial in exactly what we want it to do. In this case, if I want to go back to FRD, FRG, press activate, enter. Now it's going to go ahead and appoint me in that direction. Now I can come down and I'll select my approach and activate it. Select. We want RNAV for 2.9. We're going to go down to activate and press the enter key. Shut my flight plan page. And now notice it's taking us to the first waypoint on that RNAV approach. And you can see it's doing a nice little gentle left turn, or right turn, I should say, as it lines us up for there. Now, if I actually kill out of the flight plan page, you can see it's actually behaving the way we expected it to. Now, where this gets even trickier is, uh, let's say you wanted to edit this. I'm going to come in here. I notice, by the way, all of our existing uh, routes have been all chopped up into teeny tiny pieces as soon as you press that direct button. Let's say we wanted to go to uh, Tracy and we wanted to try to name it something else. You can actually come in here and name the waypoint something else, in which case now we've overwritten the existing information. 
for example, if I want to go, I don't know why I'd want to do this, but let's say I want to make one of my waypoints while I'm down that way, I want to do something like JFK. So I come up here, JFK, let's go J, switch this one to the letter F. One of these days I'll get a new mouse. This one's uh, not working as well as it used to. And we'll do JFK, it looks good, enter, enter. So now you'll notice, let's go ahead and close off my cursor here, that if I scroll up, that it's uh, destroyed my entire approach procedure again. So again, you want to be very, very careful when you do things like this. Uh, you can always go back and edit and change things. Now, one thing cool, if I come up here and press the clear button, it instantly deletes whatever waypoint I have highlighted. That may not be desirable. So now, of course, if I press direct, it says uh, we have a KRFRG again. We can now come all the way down here and reactivate it, put our procedure back in, and then continue with the flight. Keep in mind these two units are very similar to each other. The one at the bottom basically is going to behave exactly the same way, but the one at the bottom actually copies the data from the top. In the real plane, you can actually separate these two from each other. So you can actually use one for one thing and you can use one for the other one. Hopefully this helps as far as um, being able to create your own custom waypoints and uh, kind of clean them up, I should say, um, custom flight plans here and insert an ad. Again, be very cautious because the way this one works is not the one in the real world, but it still is fairly usable for what you're doing. Enjoy.